Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? on guys? Welcome to part two uh, with this Grixis a mass list brought to us by uh, It's Just Wild as well as Turn One Soul Ring. Turn One Soul Ring really took uh, the initial deck list from Wild and kind of turned it into this. So I do appreciate the uh, the team effort on building this one, uh, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, if you didn't check out part one, I do hope you will. Um, it's a little different than wow. This is an interesting hand. We're going to try it. Um, we need one land, and we're really good. Two lands makes it great. Um, so the the deck is a bit slow. We kind of talked about that in video one, um, and I think it's worth noting that it is. I mean, that's just kind of how this deck works. Uh, it's not meant to take over the game really, really quickly, but gain value every single turn. Um, and it does that pretty well, but certainly has its issues and... You know, I'm sure we'll kind of see those as we go along, but um, I do really like this one. I think it's a fun deck. We'll we'll see we'll see how it works out in this video. I think in the first one we got one win uh, and two losses, but uh, very happy we at least got one there. So you can kind of see how the deck works when it is in that winning position. Um, Vizier of the Scorpion, all star card for sure. Uh, I'm looking forward for the the Gleaming Overseer. I think this is really going to be our first chance at really trying that card in particular out um let's see what they do first oh well that didn't work um duh it's summoning sickness i am silly all right uh this is a bit of a like rush through we definitely wanted to kill this first but that's okay uh we'll just go ahead and do that now uh i didn't want them to be able to draw cards is the takeaway so that was a bit of a mistake on my end but that's okay uh, hopefully we will get a land this turn. That would be amazing. It's really what we're looking for. There we go. Uh, let's do that. And let's go ahead and get the Overseer down just so, uh, for any future Bone Crusher Giants, anything like that, we're not, uh, we're not worried about it. Um, granted, this looks like Golgari Adventures, so most likely not going to be a thing. Um, next turn we can get either the Vizier of the Scorpion or the Gleaming Overseer number two down uh, and really start pumping this guy up, uh, which is going to be great. Um, if we get a land, we can obviously Thassa, but I'm kind of in the plan of just going wide here, uh, especially against this deck. I think, um, I think that actually works pretty well. Uh, hmm. 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 Let's just go for the full, yeah, let's just, let's just get the, uh, the widespread stuff going here. Um, not widespread brutality, uh, and see what they want to do. Uh, this has death touch, so, you know, we'll get to kill everything here. That's fine. Uh, and the thing about this deck is it really doesn't matter that we're trading off too many creatures because again, we just get them back. Uh, that's kind of the fun part about the Amass deck is that we have that ability. And it does look like they actually do run red, so Bone Crusher Giant, very much a possibility. Um, okay. They spent their green uh, to do, or, or in that uh, auto tap, they spent their green, which kind of sucks, but uh, that's okay. Um, this is gonna, I mean, this is a bit of a worry because obviously you know we're we're gonna be losing some life here so hopefully uh we don't lose too much life but uh fossa coming down maybe would be really really helpful um but we'll see what they uh what they decide to do dreadhorde butcher not gonna do it um let's go ahead and amass again with this just get more of these out to uh kind of add some protection here if nothing else um and do we attack with this? I kind of don't want them to have this like really badly, but you know, not a huge deal. We'll we'll hold off. I do think this deck is very interesting in the way that it plays. It's a little bit different than you would probably expect, but that's okay. Ugh, these guys are frustrating. Um we kind of really, we really need to uh, get one of these tokens up to six, uh, so that way we can start uh, gaining a little bit of life back, uh, which is certainly going to be very crucial for us. Uh, but we'll see what they do. This can't block. Um, this probably is never going to block. All pretty important things here. 
Um, I'm gonna put that on the bottom. We we kind of really need some more land here. Uh, specifically, a second red land would be helpful for widespread brutality because then we can just kind of, you know, go ham here. Um, and I think I don't attack uh, as much as I would like to. I don't think that's the right play. Um, yeah. Uh, widespread brutality going to be very, very key here. Um, especially if we can get another counter on this first. Um, so if we can get this up to six, we attack in, then we widespread brutality potentially. That would be great. We'll see. We will see. I don't have the highest of hopes, to be honest, but... Wow, that's very good. Very, very good. I like that. Uh, Jund... Adventures. Do you just have another Rimrock Knight? <laughs> wow, yeah. And then we just kill ourselves. Man. You got it. Uh, unfortunately, we just kill ourselves with our own Dreadhorde invasions, so they got us. That's, that's all there is to it. Uh, they would have had us either way, even if we had attacked there, though, so that's okay. Uh, and I think that's the struggle with this deck, is it's it's focused on a mechanic. Uh, a mass is a cool mechanic. Let me just go ahead and say, I, I like a mass, but, and it adds value to like everything that you do, which I think is really cool, but uh, it's not great, uh, if I'm honest. Um, it doesn't seem to really, really get there the way it needs to. Uh, do we keep this? Nah, we'll try it. I don't love it, but we'll try. We've got some scry and some draw here, so I feel okay. I'm going to keep that because we do need a, uh, a black land here. Um, uh, let's see. Let's do this. I'm just going to go ahead and play Fibble Thip out. Blossoming Sands, huh? Another Fibble Thip. Fantastic. Um, not really. That's not a very good thing. Uh, wow, I just realized how terrible our frame rates are right now. Uh... We'll hopefully go pretty quickly through this game. Uh, we're a little bit more committed now, so I'm going to keep going. But, uh, yeah, we'll keep that. Um, next turn, we just get to drop Thassa uh, and start, you know, bouncing this, which is pretty good for us. Uh, we can also play this out, but I'm, I'm going to hold back a little bit here. We've been pretty aggressive with our uh, amassing. Kind of just want to keep drawing some guards. So let's do that for now. Uh, that's a good one. Really, really like Gleaming Overseer. I think that card is amazing. Um, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Let's do this first. That's very good. All of these are very, very good. Um... Let's get rid of this. Uh, I really don't want them to have Vivian. This is a creature focused deck, obviously, and so Vivian is a problem card. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this out. Um, no attacks, and we'll bounce Fibblethip again. There we go. Uh, we're actually kind of looking for our Death Toucher at this point, because then we can just trade this guy off. Uh, this is a great, strong creature, but uh, it does not have Trample. And we do have the opportunity to death touch some things, so I'm going to take that opportunity. Uh, Dreadhorde Butcher. Hmm. I'm going to try something a little bit different here. Let's get this in there. Um... We'll just attack with these two. Uh, with the plan being to just bounce this, obviously, to keep drawing some cards. Wow, very good. Uh, you'll notice I'm sandbagging a little bit with the Dreadhorde Invasion. I do think that that's pretty appropriate at the moment. Voice crack. Um, okay. All right, hold on. Um, Hmm. So we do have the opportunity to widespread brutality here and like get rid of some things. 
but it doesn't actually get rid of these big guys in particular, which is pretty crucial. Uh, let's drop this. Go ahead and get this up to a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, now we could do it for 4, and we do get everything but this, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, we also kill our own things, worth noting. Um, I don't know if that's correct or not. I really don't. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, let's do it. Should have attacked first, I guess, but... Okay, yeah, and then here we go. We get to kill that. That's nice. Um, play that out, and we'll attack. Um, uh, no, submit zero. Uh, we don't bounce our token. That would be terrible. Um, all right, we'll see what we can do here. I wasn't thinking about the Dreadhorde Butcher being able to uh, kill something there, too. So I'm glad that that worked out that way. Uh, good deck building on uh, on uh, Turn 1 Soul Ring and Just Wild's uh, part. Okay. Uh, let's do this first and draw a card. Another Widespread Brutality. Uh, well, we certainly don't want to play that quite yet. Uh, we do want to play out this because now we are fairly close to being able to just start, you know, going ham with this. Uh, let's bounce this, draw another card. Really loving this uh, kind of engine for this deck because I do think it needs it. Um, oh, wish we had drawn that before drawing the widespread brutality. We would have definitely played it, but uh, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and they can get in for three here. I mean, we're not going to stop it. Uh, hopefully they don't have too much removal, uh, so they're not, you know, targeting this. My hope is that we can drop this down, also get a counter on it, and then start swinging in, and, uh, obviously gaining some life. So, let's do this. Get to amass onto that. Alright, now this is going to get lifelink, and, uh, they have to block with both creatures if they want to block. Uh, yeah. Uh, we could make this unblockable, uh, by just tapping down one of their creatures, but... And we will now. Uh, let's just bounce this. Draw another card. <clears throat> so now, this is feeling really, really good. This is, feels like what the deck is meant to be doing. Uh, it's just a little bit tricky to get there, uh, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not going to be perfect. That's fine. You can prol proliferate all you would like. Because um, now you can't block. <laughs> um, there it is. That was pretty clean, uh, to be honest. That was that felt really, really nice. Uh, widespread Brutality, we got to see that at work uh, against that wide, wide board. So that felt pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can do this one more time. Uh, we're getting all kinds of stuff, though. Uh, level 90, what? All right, let's see if we can do it one more time, and then we'll kind of summarize the deck. Uh, and again, really, really appreciate the, uh, the uh, submission here. Um... All right. No, we don't keep this. <laughs> <laughs> we will keep this. Uh, let's put a temple back. Um, we can deal with one, but we do want to get our two and three drops down on curve, so that's pretty crucial. Looks like this might be a cycling deck. Uh, we'll keep that, which I'm not looking forward to. All right, pardon me, I had to uh, respond to a quick message. Um, this isn't great against a deck like this, but we're got, we kind of have to do it, so I'm going to. Uh, and definitely Gleaming Overseer, going to lean towards that over uh, the Vizier here, um, just because uh, if they've got burn of any kind, it's going to be difficult to... Did they make this unblockable? No, okay. Um... 
just so we uh, have a better chance of keeping everything alive versus a multitude of decks. So let's do that. Let's do this. Um, they may shock this in response, which makes perfect sense, but... <laughs> they are not. Alright. See what they want to do. Um... Interesting, interesting. Boros. Yeah, okay, here we go. I mean... Actually, no, this... is the better block. It's the safer block, because they can't target it, for the record. Um, okay, let's drop this. Let's drop this. I think we're just gonna hang back. Um, we just need to keep ourselves alive long enough to get this up to six so that we can start swinging in. So I'm not looking to be overly aggressive. I'm looking to stay alive. Uh, they could probably easily kill some of these things. Okay. Uh, do they have a double shock? Yeah. That's fine. I mean, that's very good. So I'm, I'm with it. Uh, we just get to eat this. Now uh, is when we can kind of start swinging in. Um, drop another Vizier. Uh, this just has lifelink now, so we get to uh, gain a lot of life back here. Um, the worry, obviously, is that this is a Boros deck. They're going to be able to come out with a lot of damage. Uh, and so we are going to just have to start trading off some of these Viziers or just, you know, chump blocking with them. Um, but we're at the point now where this is going to be very difficult for them to burn out. Uh, and, you know, if they do start attacking him, we've held him off at least somewhat long enough that it makes it a little bit easier to do this. So, yeah, I was about to say, um, I'll happily trade one of these guys off. <clears throat> Um, that's a bit preemptive. I don't necessarily think we had to do that, but it's pretty important that we, we stay alive here, so. Um, our Discord is going ham, by the way, in the background. I uh, don't know if you can hear that, but <clears throat> definitely a big thing. Uh, let's get Thassa down, because that's going to be able to uh, tap down some of these things. Which I think is going to be pretty crucial. Uh, let's attack in. Again, gaining lifelink, so we're we're now definitely gaining more life than they they are dealing, uh, and so we're race-wise ahead of the game. Um, whether or not they kill this, okay, it doesn't look like they had the shock, otherwise I think they would have used it, but it's okay. And let's see, uh, next turn is going to be pretty crucial. Oh, Winota. Oh, okay. Fair. It's pretty good. Well, they don't have Agent. Um, so that's helpful. And they get four triggers off of this. I never really expect... I, I don't know why I didn't expect Winota, but, you know, that's fine. Very good. Hmm. Well, it's a lot of damage. Uh, we're going to save ourselves as much as possible here. Um, but we do get to win. We just tap Winota down. We'll go ahead and play this just for the fun of it. And we get to attack. And there we go. Uh, we beat a Boros Winota deck. That felt pretty good. Um, was that our game three? I think that was our game three. Okay, so uh, let's summarize the deck a little bit. Um, first of all, thank you for the submission. I, I always want to lead off on that because, again, it does mean a lot that you guys do that. Um, Second, uh, a mass as a mechanic, I just want to point out, is one that I think was really, really good in draft, and it certainly has potential in constructed, but it's never going to be, at least in its current state with the current card pool, I never think it will be a tier one deck. Uh, it's very fun, but it's not quick enough. Uh, it's It does add value to a lot of the things that you do, which I think is cool. Um, 
but it's a tricky deck to play and I just don't think it's fast enough in a lot of instances to really get there. Um, doesn't mean it's bad, I think it's a fun deck. Uh, and I don't think it's a very expensive list either, so like if you do want to play it, I think it's fun to play. Uh, and there are certainly a lot of other cards in these, uh, um, in the Amass world uh, that could certainly be helped uh, in terms of putting them into the deck and not, you know, you play around with it and you see what you want to get. Um, all that to say, uh, it's a fun deck. It's not going to be a tier one deck, so don't expect that if you do go into playing an Amass deck. It, it's just not what it's for. I think it was much more focused on being a good uh, limited mechanic and not necessarily an amazing constructed mechanic, um, which is fine. I think it does a good job in limited, so I'm perfectly fine with that. So regardless, I do think this is a fun one. I, I like it. You're going to win some games, obviously, because it does kind of attack on a different... Uh, it, it's a bit of an odd deck uh, in the way that it works, but it is very, very fun. So I do recommend trying it out uh, if you're interested. But just don't expect tier one. Uh, again, I appreciate the, su the uh, submission on this one. Uh, it's been very, very fun to try something else out. Uh, hopefully, Core 2021 is coming out very, very soon. So I'm really excited to get some of that content up for you guys. Um, let's actually double check. I think it's the 25th that these are available. Uh, we went ahead and pre-ordered these things. Yeah, the 25th. So uh, in three days uh, as of this video... Uh, we'll be able to kind of start playing with this and hopefully having a really good time with this uh, new set. It looks sweet, so <laughs> we'll see what we get. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Uh, please make sure to check out part one as well as our video earlier today on the chaos draft that we kind of talked about a little bit uh, and posted up on Instagram. But thank you again for watching, guys. I will see you very, very soon in another gameplay video.